All right, what's up guys? Hi, uh, when I made the, uh, my build video uh, for my Armax, I, uh, I meant to talk about the four point harnesses that I installed and uh, I just totally, totally spaced it out. So uh, I've had a few people ask who picked up on it on the, on the video and uh, have asked about it. So uh, I said, uh, you know what, I'll just, I'll post a, I'll post another video. So these are the Tusk harnesses. They're, they're very nice, uh, very nice quality harnesses for a lot cheaper than uh, than some of the name brands. But what I, you know, and they're made to go around the seat and attach to this, this upper bar. There's a fundamental problem with that in my opinion though. Uh, you know, for a four point harness to work, it needs to be as low to your shoulder height as possible. Uh, that's what holds you in if you if you turn upside down. So uh, what I did is uh, you can buy these these uh, pass throughs. Uh, they're like 20, 30 bucks. I don't know. They're cheap. So I cut my seat and installed those pass throughs. But then the problem is your bar is too high. So I was able to find, and I, I can't remember the company, Fast, Fast something. Uh, but I found this uh, uh, drop down that allows you to mount the, the harnesses at the proper height. So uh, having to do it over again, I would do something different. They sell these two, these smaller pass throughs. So I would have, doing it again, I would have bought the two singles and and cut two holes this one's almost too long and uh there there's not a lot of uh, framework <laughs> uh, left to hold this headrest so it, it's a little flimsy if somebody got in here and just grabbed the headrest and pulled on it it would probably pull apart so that's what i would do different again you can see i got a bungee strap on there and that's because uh, during the ride, because that's flimsy now, uh, it was popping back and forth. It was just a little bit annoying. So uh, the bungee strap fixed that. Yeah, it's uh, it's not perfect, but but the harnesses, which is what's important, work right and they fit well. And I'm not a big uh, I'm not a big seatbelt wearing guy, <laughs> but we were going to Moab and I was. Uh, you know wanted a little more protection and i will have to say uh, after the first day of wearing the harnesses i uh i got to where i felt naked not wearing them uh you know they just help hold you hold you more secure into the buggy and uh i really liked it uh the only only bad side to them you know like we use this vehicle uh as our pit vehicle at our local races you know and obviously i don't need the harnesses in that scenario so you know they're big and bulky so you got to figure out a way to to get them stuffed out of your way so you can get in and out of the buggy but for uh on a trip like going to moab i'm a i'm a big fan uh there's been too many close calls of people flipping their buggies and uh, almost getting thrown out. And uh, anyway, I, like I said, had a couple of people ask. So uh, told them I'd do a separate video so I didn't have to answer the question a bunch of different times. So, yep, yeah, there's the uh, four point harnesses. Later, guys.